Hello everyone, welcome to our CDL study system to help you pass the exam and obtain your CDL license. I hope this is useful and for more videos make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you and good luck. Air Brakes Exam Number 2 When can you leave your truck unattended without first applying the parking brakes or chucking the wheels? Never. If your truck or bus has dual parking control valves, it means that you can use pressure from a separate tank to release the spring brakes to move a short distance. The brake pads should be blank for the brakes to be on. Against the drum. You should know that your brakes are fading when you must push harder on the brake pedal to control your speed on the downgrade. The application pressure gauge shows the driver how much pressure is being applied to the brakes. If the air compressor should develop a leak, what keeps the air in the, in the tanks? the emergency relay valve. Why drain water from the compressed air tanks? Water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. During normal driving, spring brakes are usually held back by air pressure. Brake drums must not have cracks longer than blank the width of the friction area. So one half. After the initial drop the maximum acceptable leakage rates per minute are three psi for single vehicles and four psi for combination vehicles. How do brakes work on a long, steep downgrade? They work as a supplement to the braking effect of your engine. How will you check your truck's slack adjusters? Use gloves and pull hard on each slack adjusters you can reach. The parking brake control lets the air out of the brake chambers. If the low air pressure warning signal is not working,
it may lead to sudden emergency braking in a single circuit air system. Your vehicle has a dual air brake system. One of the systems loses air pressure. What will happen? Either the front or rear brakes will not be fully operational. Under ideal conditions, the average driver of a truck or bus equipped with air brakes and traveling at 55 miles per hour would require what stopping distance? more than 400 feet. Modern air brake systems are three different systems combined. The service brakes, the parking brakes, and blank brakes. Emergency brakes. If your truck or bus has dual parking control valves, it means that you can use pressure from a separate tank to release the spring brakes to move a short distance. The brake pads should be blank for the brakes to be on. Against the drum. If your vehicle has an alcohol evaporator, every day during cold weather, you should Check and fill the alcohol level. With uh, SCAM drum brakes, when the brake chamber fills with air, air pressure pushes the push rod out, moving the blank and thus rotating the blank. slack adjusters and the brake camshaft. In which of the following situations should you not apply the parking brakes? If the brakes are very hot Which of the following can cause brakes to fail or fade? Overheating, low air pressure, and not relying on the engine braking effect. If you need to stop quickly and your vehicle lacks anti-lock brakes, you can use either of the above, controlled braking method or the stop braking method. Tractor and a straight truck spring brakes will come fully on when the air pressure drops to a range off. Twenty to forty five PSI. The modulating control valve allows you to control the spring brakes. 
Air loss in a straight truck or bus should not be more than blank with the engine off and the brakes applied. Three PSI one minute. What activates the stop switch? Air pressure. A straight truck or bus air brake system should not leak at a rate of more than blank PSI per minute with the engine off and the brakes released. It's 2 PSI. Vehicles with air brakes must have an air pressure gauge to show the pressure available for braking. Slack adjusters should not have any more than blank of play. One inch of play, no more than one inch. What is the best way to test your vehicle's low air pressure warning signal? With the engine off, step on and off the brake pedal to lower the air pressure below 60 PSI. Which vehicles most have low air pressure warning signals? All vehicles with air brakes currently in operation must have low air pressure warning signals. On a long or steep downgrade, once you have reached your safe speed, break until you are traveling five miles per hour slower to check the slack adjusters on SCAM drum brakes you should first Park on level ground, chuck the wheels, and release the parking brakes. Before starting down a hill, you should be in the proper gear. So you can only have to apply the brake just hard enough to feel a definite slowdown. To apply the parking brakes on the normal conditions, let the air out of, of the brake chambers. Slack adjusters are all of the above. So between the power screw and push rod right on the on disc brakes, a part of the air brake system that is used to adjust the brakes, between the push rod right and S cam on drum brakes. Which of the following is not part of the air brake system? Radio signal system. Air braking takes more time than hydraulic braking because air brakes need to have airflow through the lines to work. A 
in air brake vehicles, the parking brakes should be used. whenever the vehicle is parked. The brake pedal in an air brake system controls the air pressure applied to the brakes. Your vehicle has a dual air brake system if a low air pressure warning comes on for the secondary system, you should stop, safely park, and continue only when the system is fixed. The tractor protection valve. does all of the above. Will close automatically if the air supply drops to a certain level. Will close if you apply the parking brakes. Provides the air supply for the brake system. What is the first thing you should do if the low air pressure warning comes on? Stop. When should you use the parking brake? Every time you leave your vehicle, with a few exceptions. The supply pressure gauge shows the driver how much pressure. is in the air tanks. Which of the following is not part of the drone brake? Safety valve. The safety release valve will blow at blank PSI. one hundred and fifty PSI in an emergency stop you should use the stop braking method what are spring brakes If the air brakes leak down, springs apply the brakes to stop the vehicle.